Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And as you can see, I've got a t-shirt. This is my drinking shirt. I wear it every day. Three quid from um, Poundland, uh, their Pep and Co section in Poundland. Went to the new Ballwell store and uh, I was there and I had to get it. I thought well, that was perfect. An actual beer t-shirt. Because I'll wear these other t-shirts but to actually have a beer t-shirt, now that's something. One of these days, I'll get myself a Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review t-shirt, or Raggy's Beer Reviews t-shirt. So, today, I've been to um, a pub, a little micro-pub called the Abdication Micro-Pub. And uh, it's facing O'Mails, the, what, the, the old O'Mails site in Daybook in Nottingham. We're literally half a mile that way. Um... I've been going past it for years, but you know how it is, you, you, you look, you think, oh god, it's busy in there, and then obviously the lockdown happened, and uh, I've been meaning to go in, I've been waiting for them to reopen, and then, and half the time, I, I'll go and do a beer, I'll go to a shop and do a beer haul before I get there, so today I didn't see any anything interesting in shops, and I thought, I'm going to go, I'll message them first, and make sure you're alright to use containers, so, me Ikea, you know, from Ikea, pound a bottle, perfect, sealable top so good for getting your draft in i went there uh, a lady came to the door she's explaining about the beer so very knowledgeable uh it was quite full inside actually not full 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 but social distancing full so we stayed, stayed outside what well, i'm gonna i didn't want to go in there i knew really went to get some beers and um like me she had to use a funnel but you know and then she even wrote down on on for me told me the beer, what brewery is the film, because obviously from a, a, a review point of view, I need to um, know where they're from. So this is from the Bristol Beer Factory, and it's milk start, it's 4.5%. Let's dive in. So yeah, um, we waited a few minutes, because obviously it's not easy to pour them out, you know, it's not like going into a pint glass, just having to use a funnel. I like to use a funnel in the kitchen so I know exactly where she's coming from. So here we go. Let's crack this baby open. Now it's a review of the, the glass as well. Now turn it's only been a few hours and it's not, it don't seem to have a head on it. So whether it's the same in the place itself, uh, I'm not sure. So this is a multi award winning and smooth creamy stout. Hops are Challenger and Fuggles. Malt is Maris Otter, Crystal, Chalk, Roast Barley and Wheat. Available in cask, cask, keg and bottle, bottle. Yeah, there in the end. Uh, multi awarding smooth creamy stout, the original Bristol milk stout with smooth chocolatey sweetness and balancing coffee bitterness with hints of dark fruits. This award winning, winning national champion stout is a beautifully creamy, full bodied stout. This is a great beer. I'm about to find out. Definite chocolate on the nose. Hint of coffee as well. Nice creaminess on the mouth. You definitely get that hint of dark fruit as well. You really do. Mmm. There was a nice balance to it. It's not overly sweet. I drank a stout last night. And it was strangely sweet. It was okay. It was a good stout. But it was a, a tad on the sweet side. And uh, I mean, I like, I'm sweet tooth myself. But, you know... Um, Tastes good. Um, it'll be interesting when I do. I'm probably going to drink two today, or three, and then two tomorrow. I, I've no. I mean, you know, there may be the fact that um, if you look here, one of them here, that's still retaining the head. So it may just be the fact that certain beers will perform will perform slightly different. And as much as it's a review of the 
the beer itself. It's a review of the bottle for draft because obviously I want to be using these quite a bit. Put a new label on each time. Um, and maybe even take a funnel with me if I need to so they can use my funnel. Um, I'm sure that I'm sure you know there'll be other pubs that I'm gonna go to. Um some Castle Rock beers I want to try, but it's getting down, you know, you've got to go down to the place. So in case of dragging the Wi-Fi out and saying let's go down. But we're gonna walk in the pub with five bottles and get them to fill them for me. <laughs> That'll be popular. <laughs> But obviously it's sales, isn't it? You know, in some ways it's... I mean, for me, if I look on the Abdications website, on their Facebook page, and if they've said, like, oh, we've got a lift the... And, you know, it's, it's a good way of advertising your new beers. Anyway, uh, this week's new list of beers, or today's list of beers is blah 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 These are the draft beers we've got on at the moment. Come on down. You know, it's nice to hear somebody know their beers. The lady who served me, she's obviously the um, landlady, landlady. Um, she rolled off exactly what they were. And that takes some remembering, you know. You just send a lot of different beers. It, it just takes some remembering. But yeah, fair play. And it's got a quirky little seating area outside. So this is in Dable. The A60 Mansfield Road is quite a busy road. But they've got their little seating area with beer barrels. With, with little cushions on top of the beer barrels. Quite comfy as well to be fair. A little table. So if you want to sit outside and breathe in the... Uh, well, I don't know about fresh air. Not in Dable, but not next to the A60. But freshish air. Because obviously the wind's blowing into it. There's plenty of trees nearby. Yeah, it's a good little thing. And uh, I've been meaning to go for years, and it's nice that I finally got off my backside and went. So, Bristol Beer Factory. I've actually got two of theirs. Um, is Enigma theirs? I can't remember now. Is it Cascade? I think it's Enigma. Before I came on, I went, I went through stuff trying to remember what's what. But as you are, you know, you forget. Getting old. So let me just run through their beers. I'll quickly remember which one it is. Obviously got new beers coming in. They've got a beer called Devotion. Other beers called Del Delray Beach, Entourage, Low Rider, Hydration, Infinity, Devotion, White IPA, Cask Beer, The Core 4, Notorious, this one Milk Stout, Independence and Fortitude, The Cask Beer Specials, and most of them I've just said are on there. Paloma, Twelve Apostles, Orlando, Gambler, Fascination, Russian Hill. High Estate, Mission Bay, White Desert, Above Water, Like a Stone, Say My Name. They're missing the word off that, but. Rich in Paradise, Optimist, Subtropic, Hoff, Espresso Martini, Base Camp, White Milk Stat, Talisman, Beam Me Up, Gold Nation, Raspberry Valhalla. Blue, pale blue dot north to the future lay back wow bow street all things equal fly casual wolf of north street hummingbird force of nature waymere river mute el choco kiwi groove papillon lost highway and bitter kiwi that is a lot of beers and i haven't found the one So yeah, obviously a company that does a lot of different beers. Now there's smokiness in there as well. In in the uh, wow, I'm freezing. So I'm wearing this t-shirt. Next time I wear the t-shirt over my jumper. Oh my gosh. Absolutely freezing again today. You know, at nine o'clock this morning, it was it was really warm. Uh, I was out, mowed the front garden. I'd had a, a wine or two late last night. I did a homebrew wine video, and if you haven't seen it, watch it because I went down Tangent Avenue and uh, you know putting the world to rights in my own unique way and uh, getting raw. I think I was rather steaming towards the end of it. 
and then at the end after 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 I turned the camera off, poured another quick glass and that was it. I woke up this morning and I could feel that I'd had some oh dear. It was rather late though doing a review at twelve o'clock at night. But yeah, um I forgot what I was gonna say now. So this little pub I've been to today, they're only open four hours, so you know, open you know, you've got to wonder with businesses these days, um keeping business going, whether, you you know, four hours is enough, but I suppose what you get is a concentrated amount of people in them four hours coming for takeaway beers, uh, like me, draft, um, and then whatever, you know, it's like a, it's like a shop called Micropub instead of being just a Micropub, and that, to me, is a sign of a good business, you know, businesses all around, I see lots of businesses have changed their, their core way of doing it, and adapting to new new ways really. I mean and businesses helping other businesses out. Right? Selling local beers, selling beers from all over, uh, refreshing that range of beers. So there's so it changes uh, every so often. Um, and for me, the best businesses putting the prices up on the websites and that because if you're on a budget, there's no worse than going somewhere and thinking, oh, how much is that? And I mean, I went into the Hopology shop in, in West Bridgeford, and uh, the site, there was no, half the stuff, well, three quarters of the stuff didn't have a, um, a label on it, price. And even though I went with like 50 odd quid to go and get a, you know, support your local beer shop. And uh, yeah, it, uh, I'm like there and I'm saying, I ain't got a clue how much I've, I've, I've got, can you tell me? And you feel a bit of a pauper doing that. So, happy I've got five new beers. Yep, six new beers actually, because I forgot about I got um, a black iris beer as well, in a can. Black Iris, another Nottingham brand, um, and if memory serves me correctly, there in Baseford, in the, where the old Shipston's brewery was based, you know, they're near there. So the history that surrounds it's it's all very very interesting. Oh. So enjoying this little bit of sweetness, then just just crawled in, um, but not overly sweet. Yeah, last night that was a, lot, a bit overly sweet, that of a stout. Good flavours coming through. I can see why it's an award winning stout. Um, not bad at all. Nice strength. I mean, I'd like to see a stronger version, but that's just me all over, that is. <clears throat> and uh, I might do... I don't want to leave it too long, these draft beers. So I'm going I'm to do t and probably another two reviews tonight. And then crack the other two tomorrow and have all get all five out of the way. I don't like to leave it too long, the draft beers. Because it is an experiment. I mean, the main thing is... It'd be later on tonight and tomorrow, that'll be the interesting thing to see. And, uh, you know, if you get the head, sometimes you don't. Like with this one, there wasn't much of a head. And I poured it on purpose to try and see if it would create a big head. And it didn't. But that may just be the beer. Or it may be the fact that these bottles don't really work. It's hard to know. Um, I mean, I'm hoping they do. But even if it's only for a few hours, you know... Um, yeah, I'm taking them to Blackpool with me, and uh, I'm going to go in the local Weatherspoons, the Summit Velvet Coast or something, and uh, sample their steaks, as you do. And hopefully they've got the old Aberdeen Angus on. And uh, take a few bottles with me for, for review purposes afterwards. And uh, get back to the hotel room and uh, stand in the toilet doing reviews. And hopefully, I mean, if we're lucky... Might be doing. There might be live reviews because um, it's two weeks, like a week on Saturday where we go. Well, week on Friday, I can't see us getting fifty more subscribers by then. So, no, maybe not. 
but uh, you never know. Nice bitterness at the end. So, a really interesting milk stout. My first one, Bristol Beer Factory. Ooh, ooh, I've got a lot of beers on their site. I'll have to look at the shop at some stage and see, see you know, if you can get a, a mixed box. In fact, while I'm talking about them, right, where's the shop? Shop. Got the tap room. Bottle beers. 12 bottles of milk stout. Oh, yeah. So I've got the five. Five pints, thirteen pound eighty for five pints. That's good price. That is. Uh, they're going to be that expensive, but I didn't check the price. I got twenty quid, and I thought, well, we'll get five. And the wife's always there to bail me out. Um, and I've got to say, the price is twelve bottles, twenty six. So that's not a bad price, you know, for beers. Just over two quid a bottle. And I'm just seeing if they've got a, do a mixed um, box set. Ah, mixed case. A selection of our bottle beers subject to availability. And that's only 28 quid. Might have to do a direct purchase um, at some stage. And, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Fly. Um, <clears throat> so, a little bit of a freeway um, review. First off, I'll review the actual bottle. Yeah, it seemed in, it seemed like it did the job. Maybe it didn't have the head on uh, that you might have expected. But obviously I don't know the beer, so it's hard to know. Sometimes some beers don't. You know, it's just how they are. Um... So the jury's out at the moment still. But the beer was fresh, it tasted well, um, it was good. So whether it keeps the you know the draft element, the we'll see I suppose in later reviews. Um it's got it's gotta be better than the car the you know them cardboard yeah, I've had these cardboard containers that you've got beer in and it, that don't last at all. Plastic, you know, the sealed plastic, probably the best way. Abdication. Uh, we'll do a little review about that. Yeah, um, went up, uh, stood the test, please stand here, wait to be served. We did, and uh, the lady was across quite quickly. I said to her, Look, I'm after some beers, and uh, um, yeah, she was really informative. Uh, she obviously knows her beers, which is good. You know, if you're going to be selling anything, it's like working in a on the beers, wines and spirits aisle, you've got to like what you do and be knowledgeable. And, uh, you know, five years working in there and I was really knowledgeable towards the end. Uh, I was knowledgeable after a few months, to be honest, because uh, I drank half of them. Um, but, yeah, um, I did say, was it a, a bugger to, you know, fill, fill up the bottles? Because, obviously, you know, for some people, this is a pain. You know, you want to pour somebody a pint. You don't want to be messing about pouring it into bottles but no she was fine about it and that's great good customer service and uh, yeah fully uh, contactless payment uh, got the wife's card out for that um, yeah really good uh, that better not be rain and then to the beer um, chocolate on the nose bit of coffee a bit of smokiness on the on the flavour with both the cho chocolate and coffee elements. A little bit of sweetness in there. A hint of dark fruit taste as well. Quite an interesting uh, stout. Um, and like I say, my first from Bristol Beer Factory. And it's funny because I've, I've heard of London Beer Factory. And I've drank quite a few of theirs, but never heard of the Bristol Beer Factory. So it's nice to be trying new beers. And this is the reason why these bottles, where my mate says, I've seen these in Ikea. And he showed me the one litre version. I won't bother about the one litre because I'm not paying for two pints every time. It gets expensive. But, uh, you know, to get a pint in, brilliant. Um, and, uh, you know, for, sh for sh shops and pubs out there, you know, buying them from Ikea, putting a bit, of putting a bit on, 
and using these to put your beers in, you know, if you sell them, for, you buy them for a pound from IKEA, sell them for one pound fifty, and then the person then can bring them back to you once they've washed them out, obviously. And uh, you know, it's good business. Um, to have that, to have that ability on on your shop on your shelf, to say to somebody, look, we've got these, the one pound fifty to buy, but obviously you come back, you know, you know you've got them forever then, and uh, yeah. Uh, the beer itself, yeah, loved it. Um, great for our, um, a nice good stout out of five then. Ooh. For me, about 4.4 .4 out of 5, just below the ABV. Um, yeah, really nice stout, enjoyed it. All the elements were there and uh, very nice. And that's it for this beer review. Hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, can't remember swearing this time. I think I've kept the swearing down to a minimum. And uh, how many minutes? 21 minutes! Jesus! I'll do chat, don't I? Um, thanks for watching. See you soon. And as always, stay safe. Cheers.